I wanted us to do a little commentary on this Stadium Anthems trailer, if that's All cool. right. Sure. Okay, so for anyone that doesn't know, what is Stadium Anthems all about? So it, it all takes place in the record industry the uh, in the Denver. And this guy's uh, War in Paradise, so he's like long time hair metal dude. And uh, it's kind of like the story of how music is now so much different than it used to be. And now everyone steals music. You get music for free and it's not even a, it's not even a thing anymore. So how you can make an impact in the music business. That, that she's a porn actor. <laughs> which is so funny um, but she's a very famous one actually and owns her own very thriving huge business porn for, for women made by women I mean not for lesbians necessarily but just for women yeah <laughs> so there, there's me I play a bartender I, I'm a terrible bartender in this right <laughs> now there's a lot of high level humor and a lot of dumb, dumb, dumb humor, but it's genius. I love it. I think it's just hilarious. It's, it's pretty fun to watch. And I'm a straight character in this, so I don't get to really have too much fun. Like I don't, but I do get to do my music and that's amazing. Do you know if it was because of the whole cannibal orgasmo thing, that's why they reached out to you or was this like a friend's project? Yeah, it's basically through, um, Denver. They, so it wasn't anything to have to do with Orgasmo and Scott, the director, when I first met him and I came into audition, he, he had no idea what my background was and he, he was interested in hiring me because I did a good audition. And I originally auditioned for a, a role that wasn't the main role, but just a, a side kind of fun, funny character. Because the character he wrote that is this woman who's um, in the music industry and she also does a bunch of other things and um, like she's a, a fetish performer, she's a school teacher, a school art teacher, she has all these like side gigs and she just wants to play music. Anyway, the character he wrote was like a 25 year old character, but he, he thought that I would be the, the best actor for the part. So we kind of raised, changed the, the um, changed the script a little bit to like talk about ageism in in the music industry. So there's this joke, and well, not a joke, but kind of like people say, "Oh, well, you don't want her doing this. She's too old," you know. So there's that whole dynamic. Um, I wish I could be more eloquent about it, but it has a good message, and I had a really awesome time making it. And I think it's good for what it for what it is. I think it's not everyone's cup of tea, but neither is most things. And um, it's I'm proud of it, um, and I, I think it's a pretty solid movie. Do you own it somewhere? Are you able to send that to me? Because otherwise, I have to wait till I get like a free trial of Amazon Prime. <laughs> I can share that with you. Yeah. Do you know if yeah. it, it, it's coming out on DVD or Blu-ray at any point? Oh my gosh, I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, it was such a it was such a feat for Scott to make this, but like the whole machine that you need to have um, behind a, an independent film is so it's so expensive and it's laborious, and so it's really hard to get it out there. And it's it's a bummer because I wish I like. He could really, he's such a good writer. I, I feel like he could use this as a calling card in Hollywood or to, to be able to work more. But it's just, it's just such a hard business. So I don't think, and there's a really amazing soundtrack to it that has not been released. Like this whole album that he wrote, aside from the album that I wrote for it, so there's like 30 pieces of original music in this and none of it's available except for one song on Spotify. And I'll send you the link to that. And it's, and that's not my song, it's his song, but I sing on all of his, I, I'm a singer on all of his songs. So I, it makes me, I'm like, oh, you gotta release the music, release it, because it's really good. Yeah, it I'll looks work. really well shot as well. And that's Robert Muratori, who shot Cannibal. You keep it's dropping these up. bombs on me. <laughs> <laughs> 
know. Small world.